Hello first year string players. This is part two of this week's lesson review. In part one, I went through how to play the Peru Blue Boogie with the correct bow directions and retakes. And so if you haven't watched that yet, make sure you go back and check it out because there's some information in that video that you are going to need as you move forward with your instrument. But in the second part of our lesson this week, we talked about something very exciting, our upcoming concert in March. And I know you guys are all super excited for the concert and I cannot wait for you to share all of your hard work that you've done so far this year with your parents. And so in Parents where I've already sent out the date of the concert and the time it starts and when you need to be there. And so I'll let your parents take care of that part. But as the students and as the musicians, there's a few things that I want you to be aware of. And so the first thing is during this concert, there are going to be two groups performing. The first group is going to be students in what we would call the band. So these are students who uh, have learned a woodwind, a brass, or a percussion instrument and are in their first year of playing. So that's none of you, but most of these students you're going to know because they are your classmates. And so there, you can expect to see a group of about 100 students in the band and you'll get a chance to watch them and be great audience members and support them during the concert. So that's the first group. And then the second group is what all of you are going to fall into. It's our first year string players. So all of my violin, viola, cello, and bass players are going to be performing together in one group. And that's an important thing for you to realize because you right now are in your small lesson groups, but for the concert, we are performing as one big team. So it won't be like just group F plays something and then just group C plays something, but the whole concert, we are all going to be playing together. And as you can imagine, this might require a little bit of practice. And so as we get closer to the concert in March, we will take two days to practice all together as a group. We'll actually uh, pull you out of class in the morning for those two days, go over to the high school and have a big practice all together. There's about 50 of us in total. And so I cannot wait to put all of this together. And I think that you are really going to enjoy being able to play in a large group like that. Now, as we prepare for this, because it's uh, the beginning of February by the time you're watching this, we have about six weeks before our concert. And so you should be spending some time at home preparing the concert music. In our lessons, we're going to continue to learn new things, right? We want to keep moving forward with our instrument. But for our concert, we're going to be showcasing some things that we've done in the past. And so the style of concert that we are doing is something called an informance. An informance, it's a combination of two words, inform and performance. So during our performance, we are informing the audience of the things that you have learned throughout the year. And so for our portion of the concert, we're actually going to start with lesson one and demonstrate skills that you've learned all the way through the first nine lessons. Everything we're playing is stuff that you have learned before in lessons, but you might need to go back and review some of it. And hopefully as you do this, you're going to realize and recognize how far you have come so far this year. Maybe that stuff from the beginning of the year that seemed hard at the time, you're going to say, oh my goodness, this is so easy now. I'm such a better string player now than I was back at the beginning of the year. And so I really, really hope that a lot of you have that experience as you're going through and looking at the music. So each of you in your lesson got a lesson packet. I took all of the things that we're going to play, even though you have the worksheets from them, I put them into one packet so that way you know when it's time for the concert, you just need your lesson or your concert packet, okay? And if you didn't get one, come see me and I will have one for you to take home. But we're going to showcase these different exercises in little groups and generally we're playing about three things per group, although sometimes we play a standalone piece of music. But the first thing we're going to demonstrate is from your very first lesson. If you think back to your very first lesson, we learned four tunes that all used open strings. We're going to play three of those in the concert. So everyone's favorite, I Like to Eat Cake, is what we will open the concert with, followed by Firefly, and then Birthday Wishes. So that will be sort of like the first set of things that we play all featuring what we did in our very first lesson, all right? After we do that, we'll move on to lesson two. 
Lesson two was the amazing world of note reading. So in your first lesson, you didn't even read notes on the staff. They were, I called them floating notes, right? They just kind of were notes with the letter names written in them. So now we have learned how to read after the second lesson notes on the staff. So this is the top part of this page. There's three exercises from the amazing world of note reading. We're not doing them all. I just picked a small sampling to demonstrate to the audience. So we have reading A and D, reading D and G, and reading A and G. And so we will play these three tunes from the amazing world of note reading, all right? After that, lesson three, we learned all about eighth notes and we played the hamster who dreamt he could fly. So the next thing, this is one of those ones that stand alone, right? We'll just play this on its own. So we'll play the hamster who dreamt he could fly. And by the way, for each of these, there will be some sort of accompaniment or something to play along with because all of the students, all of the string players are playing in unison, which means you're all playing together the same notes at the same time. And so for some of these, I'm going to play the piano with you. And for others, we're going to use those awesome play along tracks that we've been using in class. So um, just if I can backtrack for a minute for the first three, we'll use the play alongs for the amazing world of note reading. There wasn't a play along for that. So I will play the piano with you. And then I believe for the hamster who dreamt he could fly, we all were able to do that pretty well with the play along. So we will do this uh, with the play along. Now, up until this point, everything that we did in our lessons was pizzicato. We hadn't learned how to use our bow yet. So those three things that I just showed you, the open string things from the first lesson, the amazing world of note reading, and the hamster who dreamt he can fly will all be played plucking or pizzicato. And then we get to our fourth lesson. And in our fourth lesson, you learned how to have a beautiful bow hold. And you might remember, we actually repeated the hamster who dreamt he could fly. We played it a second week, but with our bow. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the concert. So we will play this a second time with our bow to demonstrate that new skill. And your parents will be able to hear the difference between pizzicato and using your bow. Okay, moving on to the next part. We then did the first part of Lord of the Strings. It was called the Tale of Three Opens. You were just using three open strings, G, D, and A. And so I've taken three of those. It's actually numbers two, three, and four. Magic Pants, A Developing Romance, and Military Advance. I picked those three because I believe they were the most popular and they were the ones that we were the most successful in in our lessons. So we will showcase these three from the first part of Lord of the Strings. Next, and this is one of those, uh, oh, and by the way, there was no uh, accompaniment track for this, so I will play the piano with you. Moving on, this is a standalone piece, Sword of the Samurai. If you take a look at your notes, the new thing here was the note E, one finger on the D string. So Sword of the Samurai, the first piece that you ever played with putting fingers down on the string. And so this is kind of a milestone piece for you. And so we will play Sword of the Samurai probably with the accompaniment. It is fast, but I think most of us are, were able to do that. Uh, next, Winter Daydreams. This is another standalone. This is another one that we will also play with the accompaniment. You remember that was such a beautiful, peaceful uh, piece of music. I remember that we all loved playing this. And uh, hopefully by March, when we have the concert, we won't be living in a winter daydream, but but who knows uh, living in upstate New York. So maybe there will be some snow outside for that piece. So we'll play Winter Daydreams. And then we have Lord of the Strings Part 2. And so this is where we've added in uh, the note E along with your open string. And so I've picked numbers 1, 2, and 3. An elf lullaby, soaring in the sky, and as the victorious walk by. And again, there's no accompaniment for that, so I am going to play the piano with you. And then last but not least, our grand finale, lesson nine, was on Azuka. Azuka was the first piece that you played using the note F sharp. And I really shouldn't be doing that because that's only for uh, my violins and viola. So it's F sharp, two fingers for violin, viola, three fingers for cello, four fingers for bass. And Azuka was a nice, long, and exciting piece where you can demonstrate all of the things that you've learned so far, right? You have your note reading, you're playing uh, D's, E's, F sharps, and A's. You have some eighth notes, some quarter notes, all different types of rests, and uh, even a, a nice long whole note at the end to demonstrate a nice big full bow. And I will play the piano with you guys on this one, and this is how we will end our informants. And then, of course, 
Looking forward to the end of the year, we plan to have another informants or concert in June. And so all of the things that we did after Azuka, which the next week was Hot Cross Buns, and then the Peru Blue Boogie, and then there's even more coming after that, those things we will get to demonstrate in the June concert. So don't be sad if some of the things we've played recently don't make it into the concert. This is just a showcase of lessons one through nine. And then at the end of the year, we will showcase lessons 10 and moving forward, okay? So you have a big job over the next few weeks. You're going to have regular lesson things. So this week it was the Peru Blue Boogie, which is a repeat, but we've added in that Boeing. So you'll have regular lesson material and concert music. I'm not going to make videos going over the concert music because I already have done that. So let's say you're looking through this and you say, man, the second part of Lord of the Strings, I really don't remember doing that and I'm struggling with it. Go back to Google Classroom and find that video and watch it. All right, same for any of these. All of these have pretty extensive instructional videos, right? 10 minutes plus going through exactly how to do these and the skills that you need to do them, right? If you need help with beautiful bow hold, go back to that video. And so you kind of have to be your own teacher here. We will run through some of these together in lessons, but they won't be our focus because we've already focused on these and learned them, all right? So that's it for the second part of our lesson review. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in your next lesson.